El Alamein, Egypt. British forces begin to beat back German troops occupying North Africa. It's a decisive moment in World War II. A bright gleam has caught the helmets of our soldiers and warmed and cheered all our hearts. Prime Minister Winston Churchill delivers the news at a lunch at Mansion House, the Lord Mayor's residence in London. Ronald's army has been defeated. Inside and out, people hang on every word. Ah, this is not the end. Uh, it is not even the beginning of the end. Uh, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Churchill is nearing his zenith a journey he's been on for 68 years. As a boy, Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill loves all things military. He marshals brigades of toy soldiers in the sprawling grounds of his ancestral home, Blenheim Palace, where he was born on November the 30th, 1874. His father, Randolph, is a maverick conservative politician. His mother, Jenny Jerome, here with two-year-old Winston, comes from a wealthy American family. Even age 16, Churchill is already certain destiny has chosen him. He tells a friend, I see into the future, I shall save London and England from disaster. At 18, he enrolls in the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, after twice failing the entrance exam. His military training will serve him well through his long and varied career.